Hey everybody, Mr. Bookie Boo here. It's nearly the end of May, and I realized that I haven't done a LEGO City update yet in the month. The month kind of got away from me, but fortunately, I've actually been doing a lot of little uh, projects and things around the city. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you some of the things I've been working on. So if we go over here, starting at the beach, I managed to score some of the new 2017 LEGO Summer City sets. Uh, what you see here is bits and pieces of the fun at the beach set. So if you look around, you'll see some of the new elements and some of the new minifigures. Um, there's a, I got a whole bunch of surfer dudes out there now. It's getting kind of crowded for surfing. And um, I've also got, uh, you'll just see some of the minifigures scattered about there. I still have to do a lifeguard tower. The lifeguard tower that comes with the set is pretty huge and it's a little too big for my tiny little beach. So uh, I'm probably going to modify that, but um, I don't know, it's, it's looking pretty good though. It's really full. It's busy. It's, uh, it's a happening place. The harbor is also getting a little crowded if I pan this way. So it's more like a, more like a parking lot on the Ventura Freeway right now. Um, I got a lot of boats. I got the little creator um, set with the, the, the seaplane slash boat slash whatever beach hut thing you can build. So I decided to build it as a boat because it was a pretty good size, but it's this is just a big traffic jam. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to move the uh, the big boat and create maybe a, a larger harbor over on the other side of my uh, layout, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, and then leave this kind of for the smaller boats. But we'll see. We'll see. Moving along, over here, you'll see some progress on the, uh, the little... Uh, train platform up here above. So not much in the front, but if you look in the back, which you can't really see right now, but let me see if I can get the camera over there so you can see it. So I actually built the retaining wall further behind the main, the front wall, and then there's the, the retaining wall back there. So that's been built. The platform is just a plain old platform. I haven't really done much with it yet. And of course, I still have to rebuild the stairs. Those are just uh, temporary stairs that are just kind of to see how the design would work. But uh, I'm going to be working on this area more soon. The fountain's a placeholder. We'll put some benches, some plants, maybe some tiles. I don't know. What do you think about these little round tiles? Do you like that design? Let me know in the comments because I haven't decided if I like it or not. I like, you know, usually I do this kind of stuff with the square tiles. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, over here I was thinking maybe those little round tiles, maybe that would, might look a little better. I don't know. If I go over here, the biggest change that you'll see this month is if I zoom down this way, is the brown railroad ties. So if you notice, you can see actually back here over at the beach area where it's just the gray tiles. It's a plain old, uh, you know, just the standard track. It kind of blends in with the gray rock and stuff so it, it doesn't look, I know, it's just plain, you know? And then you can see actually in the front here is a really good example of that. It was just kind of blah. Didn't have a lot of, a lot of uh, pop, so I added one by two tiles and two by four tiles in between uh, uh, the rails. And I think it looks pretty good. I don't know, what do you think about that? Do you, do you like this design here? So I've done it pretty much all the way along the front where you see it. And you can see all the way and even along the, to the station here and all the way around the bend and into the switch. You can see kind of see how I did it around the switch. Now there's no studs on parts of the switch pieces. So I kind of had it, it's kind of like, looks like a hybrid type design. But I, I think I like it. I think it's it's pretty cool. You know, it's uh, it seems to uh, work for me. So it looks better than the gray, I think. Moving along, let's see what else we got here. This part, not really much has changed in this area. Same old stuff. Now, big change is going to be coming. So probably in June, the Imperial Recruitment Center is going to be coming out. Um, it's had its time in the sun, I guess. And it's, I don't know, it's just kind of a big gray building and... It's, uh, I have some ideas. It's, it'll probably be back with maybe like a different design later on. Um, but I'm going to shuffle around a lot of these modular buildings because I'm like just jumping all over the place. But that's cool. You guys get to see the whole uh, kind of room. The police station's almost done. Now, again, I know what you're going to say right away. It's another big gray building, Mr. Wookie. Mean, what's up with that? It is. <laughs> and I, I was going for kind of a, like a, I don't know, like a, I had seen similar type of buildings when I was in Paris. Um, with the uh, with the carriageway in the middle, so like back in the old days when they used to have horse and buggies and stuff, they would have the the, the portal kind of where the horses could get through. So that's kind of what I was going for. And so then I kind of wanted like a gothicy kind of old 
looking building and I, I don't know, I guess I tend to work in grays. And so it's just, that's kind of how it ended up, which is kind of ironic because I'm replacing a ugly gray building with another ugly gray building. So Imperial Recruitment Center, it's going to be replaced with the police station. Now I'm going to swap it around because I don't want the police station right next to the fire station because there's just too much emergency services all in one place. So what I'll probably end up doing is I'm thinking I might move the Parisian restaurant, which you see over here, and putting that maybe over here by the fire station. And then with the police station will end up where the Parisian restaurant is. Chez Albert, right? Did I say that right? Chez Albert? Chez I used to call it Chez, but then someone said, hey, it's not Chez, it's Shea. So I was like, oh, all right, all right. Collectible minifigures, I got the new set. I had a full set. The kids kind of pilfered it and, and got their hands in here. So this is what's left right now, but I did have a full set at one point. Um, got a few extras. I got a couple extra Rocket Boys. I actually ordered those at Bricklink because I couldn't find them anywhere. Um, and I ordered uh, uh, the vet Veterinarian Girl as well. I couldn't I tried my best to get those all the other ones I managed to get in the packs though it's kind of it was fun for a change I actually did pretty good usually I get like 52 of the whatever the common one is and then you know I don't get any of the rares but this time I actually did pretty good um, moving along over here now this is actually pretty cool my uh, middle son built this right here it's this little I think it's a snow cone shop right next to the ice cream shop or it's like potions or snow cones or something like that I think it's pretty cool. I like it. He did that all on his own. He's actually also, I'll show you if I can, can I find it real quick? Yeah. He's actually also building a truck to go with the shop. He's still working on it. He even had to put in a door that opens. You can see, so he's going to be able to like serve uh, potions or snow cones or whatever it is that he's making there. So I'm, I'm really proud of him because he's doing a good job with that. I love to see them building, getting their own little creativity going. So he's, he's my little Lego engineer. He's the one that's always coming up with some pretty good ideas, if I don't say so myself. And he inspires a lot of the stuff that I do. So um, we got that going on. And then over here is where the big changes are happening. So I managed to get the new, uh, the new bus. And you can see in the background. So that's the bus station that comes with the bus. This is the bus. I got it right here. The bus, the bus, woo! -hoo. This is a pretty cool design. It's ginormous compared to like the old one. I think it was shorter. It only had two wheels in the back, so it was probably at least like four studs shorter. This bus is ginormous. It's almost a little too big. I'm thinking I might redesign it and make it smaller because it's just, I don't know, it's it's gigantic. I mean, it's a huge bus. And it's still, it only seats like four people, just like the old one, only seated like four people. So I don't know what's up with that. Uh, the design is pretty cool though. And it, uh, the, uh, the bus stop is cool too. But if you look, of course I couldn't leave well enough alone. So I'm working on my own new design for the bus stop. It's just a little more detailed. You know, the official Lego one, it, it's kind of, it has some, you know, quirky things to it. It's, it's functional. It works, but you know, I can always do better. So this is kind of, let's see if I can pop it off here without wrecking it. So this is kind of the new, new design. I'm still adding to it, but you can see. It's, it's similar, but it's just, the roof's a little more detailed. It's got some curves to it. Um, the other thing you'll notice, so then back there, you can see the newsstand poking out back there. Uh, that's going to be um, uh, redesigned as well. I don't know where I'm gonna put that yet, but that'll be somewhere in the city. The other big thing, which you've probably seen in the pictures on Instagram, is the castle's finally getting some landscaping. So the structure of the mountain's pretty much done. You can see that's pretty much done, the main structure. I still have to do a little bit more detail over here by the stairs, but landscaping. So I'm doing the Minecraft trees mixed in with some like Lego, what are those, standard Lego trees. And then there's like water in, in the, the moat. It's like a half moat. And then more um, foliage and stuff all around the, to, to kind of hide the, the base where the castle hits the top of the mountain. Uh, I'm also thinking here of using those round one by one tiles it's kind of like cobblestone or something i don't know again what do you guys think about that does it look good does it not look good i don't know i can't decide i'll probably experiment a little bit and see um, but i think it might work in this area as opposed to some of the other areas and then the last but not least over here is the sandwich shop so my oldest has been playing team fortress 2 and he kind of got me hooked on it so we're calling it the sandwich shop um this is still under construction. So this is a modified corner deli. Uh, it's a, it's different from, it's kind of the same, but it's different than the official set. 
Um, I fixed a couple of things that bothered me on the design and, and it just made it fit in that space better. The interior still has to go in um, and you can see the Wookiees are helping build. So hopefully that's going to help speed things along. But I don't know, I think they're having some trouble uh, communicating right now because the uh, construction workers don't speak Wookiee. So I think they might be in a little bit of trouble. And then you can also see more of the grass. So if I zoom in, you can see kind of how I'm blocking off the area where the trains go. And then there's like this, these grassy tree kind of barricades. This looks more natural than just like a, a fence or something like that. And then over here, this is just the mess, which keeps getting messier and messier. But I, what I've decided to do, this was going to be residential. It's, it's going to be more like Lego creator. So there might be some houses mixed in here, but I'm going to do more of the Lego creator style. So they're smaller as opposed to the big modulars, you know? Um, the police station, like I said, is going to be moved over. The Imperial Recruitment Center is coming out. That might just be like a, a tower facade behind, kind of like my Avengers Tower. And then as I continue on, you can just see the junk pile here. So this is just stuff. There's like the, my Jabba's Palace that I'm recreating. And it's, it's just a mess. It's ugly. It's, it's really blah, stuff all over the place. So the freight yard is going to come out for sure. It just takes up too much space. It's just this whole table length is freight yard. It's too big. takes up too much space for me. This is, that's going to come out. I'm going to redesign the track lad a little bit. And what I'm thinking is in this, this like corner over here is putting in a, another harbor, but it's going to be more like an industrial kind of harbor for the big ships. So you can see, I've already got my icebreaker, which I'm, which I kind of redesigned. I got the coast guard cutters. Um, and I'm hoping, you know, Lego's about due to come out with another harbor set. So I'm, I'm hoping like maybe next year that will come out and kind of do like a hybrid with maybe only one spur for the, for freight cars and then like uh some more water and stuff over here and then just more like creator houses and stuff there's some good sets that came out i'm excited to get those in and uh we'll uh we'll see how that goes so and i gotta finish painting the wall i painted the wall half and half i like half of it done and i gotta do the other half so there's always stuff to do right so that's it for this month little changes subtle things but we're making good progress and things are moving along and we're having fun which is the most important thing at all of all right so thank you for watching. Let me know your feedback. Let me know if you have any good ideas. Let me know what you think about those round tiles. I still don't know. I don't know how it's going to, I don't know if I like that or not. I don't know. What do you think? Anyway, thanks for watching and I will be back again, hopefully not at the end of June, hopefully like mid June with another update. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.